Hello guys and welcome to another project order series video. Today we're going to be solving the integer right triangle problem 39. If P is the perimeter of a right angle triangle with integral length sides ABC, there are exactly three solutions for P equals to 120. Then it gives us the possible solutions here. And you guys can see that all of the values add up to 120. So this problem has a lot of optimizations says for which value of P less than or equal to 1000 is the number of solutions maximized. So what I want to do first is just go through the problem and then we can look at how to optimize this. So what I have so far is just a Java class with uh, no methods in there. So what we want to do is implement those methods. The first thing we want to do is create a private uh, static int and we we'll look at the possible uh, solutions all right and this is going to go ahead and take in the parameter all right so what we need is we need to keep track of the possible uh, parameters it's going to be zero for now and then we need to create some loops I'm going to say for their site a is equal to one and site a is less than or equal to the perimeter site a plus plus next we want to go ahead and go for site b we're going to say there site uh, b is going to equal to site a plus one the reason is because this has the property of a Pythagorean, you can apply Pythagoras theorem here. And with Pythagoras theorem, um, most of the time, actually uh, B has to be greater than A, okay? And then we're gonna say, uh, side B is less than or equal to the perimeter. And we're gonna do uh, side B plus plus. Next, we want to do is calculate site C. So we're going to say there, um, site C is going to equal to the perimeter minus site A minus site B. Because the entire uh, sites, right, actually equal to the perimeter. So we can use this to calculate site C if we know what site A and B is. Next, we can apply Pythagoras theorem here. We're going to say that if uh, site A times side A plus side B times side B is equal equal to side C times side C. Then we have a possible matching. So you can say that the possible perimeter plus plus. And all you have to do is just return the uh, possible parameters. So we're going to say P and that. All right. So now that we have this, all you have to do now is get the the uh, triangle right with the most uh, solutions. So we're going to create another variable. It's going to be static and uh, max possibilities. All right, and since they already gave us what the um, actual upper limit is, we don't have to really pass it in. We could just hard code it. So we're gonna say, uh, well, we need two variables. We need the max uh, parameter is gonna equal to zero, and we need the uh, max triangle, which is just gonna be the value that's gonna equal to zero as well. All right, so we can create a loop. So let's say for their uh, parameter equal to one and perimeter is less than or equal to 1000. Do a perimeter plus plus. All right, now we, what we need to do is get the current um, uh, P, uh, P max. So we're gonna say current uh, max parameter is going to equal to uh, possible solutions 
and then pass in the parameter. I'm going to say that if the current P is greater than the max parameter, then the max parameter is going to equal to the current parameter. And then the max uh, triangle is going to equal to the parameter. And all you have to do is return the max triangle. And now we could just go ahead and pass in main and do SRT. And then we can do the max possibilities and run that. All right, so you should get uh, 840 for the solution. So now what we can do is look at how to improve this solution by looking at what we've been given. So let's uh, look at this numbers for now. So you guys can see that for A, the maximum value is actually the perimeter divided by four. And for B, the maximum value is actually if you take 120 divided by 48, you should arrive at two, right? So this is how we can actually improve uh, this solution. And um, what else? Uh, we can start our loop at 120 for both the, uh, to find the possible um, parameters, solutions, and also for uh, the max, the my solution as well. So what we can do is come down here and for this part right here, we can divide the perimeter by four and we can start A at 120. For B, we can divide it by two. And since we're calculating C from A and B and the perimeter, it doesn't really matter. What does that, we can't really optimize that part. And then for this part right here, we can set this at 120. And if we run this, we should still arrive at the same solution. All right guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumb up. Uh, if you have any questions about this problem, please leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Have a good day, peace.